The Last Jedi is literally two days away from the time that I'm making this video, but I thought an emergency theory video was in order, as apparently after two years of people debunking the Rey Skywalker and Rey Solo theories, somehow a lot of people still seem to believe in them, including the film theorist who just made a video saying that Rey's father is Han Solo and her mother is Leia, which is so wrong I don't even know where to begin. So I thought I'd make this video to prove one and for all that Rey is not a Skywalker or a Solo. So let's begin. First of all, J.J. Abrams, the director of The Force Awakens, has already said that Rey's parents are not in The Force Awakens. Rey's parents are uh, not in Episode 7. Rey's parents are uh, not in Episode 7. If Rey's parents are not in The Force Awakens, and Han, Leia, and Luke are in The Force Awakens, that means none of them are her parents. This is all the proof you need, really. He's very clear about it. Rey's parents are not in The Force Awakens at all. Rey's parents are, uh, not in Episode 7. Now, after he said this, people started freaking out and asking J.J. to confirm that Luke is not Rey's father. And of course, he isn't just going to come right out and say that Luke is not Rey's father, although he did come pretty close. But after being pressured over and over again to answer the question, J.J. Abrams backtracked a little bit to say that technically what he meant was that they weren't revealed in The Force Awakens. But come on, we all know what he really meant. Just think, if you made The Force Awakens, and you knew that Han, Leia, or Luke were Rey's parents, would you ever say that Rey's parents are not in The Force Awakens? Of course you wouldn't. Another person who works on Star Wars who's been telling us that her parents aren't in The Force Awakens is Pablo Hidalgo, who's the creative executive at Lucasfilm. He's basically the gatekeeper to all Star Wars secrets, and even he was asked on Twitter. J.J. Abrams said Rey's parents are not not in episode 7. Does this mean that Luke is not her father? And he replied, I think people have made their minds up about Rey, so that what anybody says outside a movie wouldn't stop a debate at all. Again, he's not allowed to literally say the words, Luke is not Rey's father, but he comes pretty close and he's clearly confirming exactly what J.J. Abrams said. Rey's parents are not in The Force Awakens, and no matter what the director of the movie says or he says, people have already made up their minds. But if you want in-movie evidence that Rey's not a Skywalker or a Solo, Maz Kanata has already told us that Rey's parents are never coming back, ever. Whomever you're waiting for on Jakku, they're never coming back. If Rey's parents are not coming back, then they're not coming back, which means they can't be Han, Leia, or Luke, as all three of them have come back. Her parents are most likely dead, you guys. Also, she says her parents are not coming back, but there's someone who still could, meaning Luke, which means her family and Luke are not the same people. Even Pablo Hidalgo has confirmed this, again, spoon-feeding us the answers when he replied to a question on Twitter that said, you know, Maz Kanata basically disqualified Luke Skywalker from being one of Rey's parents in all of two sentences, right? And Pablo replied, Oh sure, if you want to use the movie as a basis of speculation, whatever. Like, come on, people. Not to even mention, do you really think that if Han, Leia, or Luke were her parents, that she wouldn't recognize them when she sees them again? And in The Force Awakens, she doesn't recognize any of them. And wouldn't they recognize their own daughter? Yes, yes they would, but they don't because she's not. Again, our Lord and Savior Pablo Hidalgo has confirmed on Twitter that yes, of course Rey would recognize her own parents. Remember, she's waiting on Jakku for her parents to return. She would obviously have to know what they look like so she recognizes them when they come back for her, right? Even Pablo Hidalgo says, I think what Maz says to Rey about the belonging she 
seeks says a lot and the person she's waiting for is never coming back. Would it make sense if Maz meant someone who's upstairs? Right there, confirming again that Han Solo isn't her father as her parents are not coming back. Her parent is not upstairs. When someone asked about what Maz said to Han after this cutaway, Who's the girl? Pablo revealed Han said something along the lines of, She's this girl I found on the Falcon, stole it on Jakku, mopey about the world, thinks someone's coming back, and someone asked, Luke? Pablo then replied in the most definitive way possible, No, comma, her family period. She thinks Luke is a myth. He 100% confirms that Luke is not Ray's family. She thinks someone's coming back for her. Luke? Question mark? No. Her family. Just think about it. Would Han, Leia, or Luke ever in a billion years even consider abandoning their own child on Jakku? First of all, Han and Leia sent their child, Ben Solo, to be trained with his uncle Luke. You really think that Han and Leia had two children, a 15-year-old boy and a 5-year-old girl, and they send one child to be trained with Luke, and the other they give to Uncar Plutt, an evil, harsh, horrible alien that's affiliated with the First Order? <clears throat> Follow the girl and get that droid. No way would they leave a powerful Force child with the First Order on Jakku, a desolate desert planet in the middle of nowhere where she'll probably end up dead. And you really think Luke would do the same if he had a child? Not to mention, it's even been confirmed that Leia and Luke have never even met Rey and have no idea who she is. In the Force Awakens commentary, J.J. Abrams said, I tried to have Chewbacca go off and help Finn so we could focus on Rey and have Rey find Leia and Leia find Rey. The idea being that both of them being strong in the Force and never having met would know about each other, that Leia would have been told about her beyond what we saw on screen and Rey of course would have learned about Leia. Let me repeat that, J.J. Abrams said never having met, meaning Ray and Leia have never met. And I don't know about you, but if I gave birth to someone, I would probably have met them at least during labor, but that's just me. Daisy Ridley has also said in an interview that Luke doesn't even know who Ray is either. And Ray, I think, obviously he doesn't even know who she is when she turns up, like, with this freaking lightsaber that he's not seen in however long. But obviously he doesn't even know who she is when she turns up. But he doesn't even know who she is when she turns up. She didn't say he didn't recognize her. She straight up says that Luke doesn't even know who Ray is at all. Also, in the Star Wars book Bloodline, which takes place only six years before The Force Awakens, Han and Leia are still together. They are all still in contact with Luke. Ben has hasn't turned to the dark side yet and there's still no mention at all in the entire book of any of them leaving a child to die on Jakku with an affiliate of the First Order. And again, Pablo Hidalgo confirms this when he was asked on Twitter, looking at the bloodline stuff, is it safe now to say that Rey is not Luke's daughter? And Pablo replied, I think once the book is out for everyone to read, more people should weigh in on that idea. And if you want even more proof, Daisy Ridley herself has a officially confirmed that Rey is not Han Solo's daughter. People were so presumptuous. People were like, well, like, you're Han Solo's daughter. And in my head, I was like, how do you know? Like, have you seen the film? <laughs> Clearly not, because I wasn't. Clearly not, because I wasn't. Clearly not, because I wasn't. The only last tiny shred of evidence that people are still clinging on to is that Kathleen Kennedy has said that the new Star Wars movies follow the Skywalker story, meaning it's not an entirely new story series in another part of the galaxy with no relations to the previous stories, it's still following the storyline with the Skywalkers in it. But people seem to think that this somehow means
means that every character in The Force Awakens is a Skywalker because this story has Skywalkers in it. You know, the prequels followed the Skywalker story too, and it was pretty much just Anakin. And in The Force Awakens, we have three different Skywalkers. Luke Skywalker, Leia, who's a Skywalker, and Kylo Ren, who's a Skywalker. How many Skywalkers do you need? And yes, again, Pablo Hidalgo has already confirmed that Kylo Ren is the new Skywalker when he said Kylo is the Skywalker in The Force Awakens, right? We know that already. When someone replied, the magic of Star Wars for Kid Me was that Force was for anyone, irrespective of blood, but that's just me. And Pablo Hidalgo liked this tweet and retweeted it. You don't need to be a Skywalker to be powerful in the Force. Daisy Ridley has even said that Finn is Force sensitive. And when simply asked, is Rey a Skywalker? Pablo said, nothing in the Force Awakens suggests that and there's not much else to go on. Pablo Hidalgo even liked a tweet that said, people will literally need an I am not your father moment for a man and a girl who have no reason to think they're related. I guess we'll have to see in a couple days when The Last Jedi comes out exactly how blunt they are in the movie. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I cut it really close, uploading it only two days before The Last Jedi comes out, but I thought it had to be made before The Last Jedi. Also, one final reason I believe Rey is not a Skywalker or a Solo, regardless of the fact that it's already been basically confirmed that she's not, is Raylo. Raylo is the theory that Rey and Kylo Ren will fall in love in the next movies. I've made a three-part video series about this theory. It's my favorite Star Wars theory, and I really believe it's going to happen. So you can click right here to watch those videos after this video. Also, I'll be uploading even more videos this month after I see The Last Jedi. So make sure to subscribe so you get notified when I upload those new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,